Welcome to Joey's Tech, my friend. In this video, you are going to learn to write a Python program to find the GCD of two numbers. GCD is the greatest common divisor that we also call it CF, full form highest common factor. I'm going to be telling you three methods using which you can find the GCD of two numbers. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Also, if you are new to my channel and if you want to grow in Python, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on these Python coding interview question videos I create for you. The playlist of Python coding interview questions is getting bigger. You can watch the videos by clicking on the i button. So let's begin coding the program. I'll first create the main function within which we'll first take the two numbers from the console as input. Thus, we'll declare a variable v underscore num1. And after the equals to sign, we are going to write the input function within whose brackets we'll type the message enter the first number. All right. And of course, we are going to typecast this entire expression using the int function because the input function always returns a string. Now we are going to declare our second variable, which will be v num2. This is to get the second number. I am going to copy this line of code and paste it over here to save time and make a little change, which is to change first into second. Okay. This is the code to take the two numbers from the console. Now we define a method and we are going to call it F underscore GCD, which will accept two arguments M and N. Okay. Now within this function, we are going to make use of the GCD function, which is an inbuilt function in Python's math module. For that, we'll first import the math module. Hence, as the first line of this program, we are going to write import math. Okay. Then within the function, we are going to simply write return math dot GCD to this GCD function. We are going to pass M and N. That's it. These arguments M and N will contain the two input numbers that we are going to pass as parameters in the function call. Within the main function, we are going to make a call to this function FGCD. So within the print function, we are going to write a message GCD of curly braces and curly braces is curly braces. And within format, we are going to pass VNum1. Then we are going to pass vnum2 as its second parameter. And as its third parameter, we are going to make a function call f underscore gcd. And we are going to pass vnum1 as the first parameter to our function fgcd and v underscore num2 as the second parameter to our function fgcd. Now we are going to run the program and check the output. All right, so the program is asking me to enter the first number. Let me enter 80. And it's asking me to enter the second number. Let me enter 48. And I know that the GCD of 80 and 48 is 16. So let's see what the program prints as the output. And you can see that the program prints GCD of 80 and 48 is 16. So the program is printing the correct output. If you don't know how to calculate the GCD of two numbers mathematically, then I am going to tell you that as well. Just keep watching the video. In method two, we are going to use the Euclidean algorithm to find the HCF of two numbers or the GCD of two numbers. The algorithm is simple. It states that if we divide the larger number by the smaller number and then find the remainder, and if the remainder is not zero, then we divide the smaller number by the remainder and keep doing it unless the remainder becomes zero. You see if the two numbers are 80 and 48, then we divide 80 by 48. The larger number by the smaller number, 32 comes out as the remainder when we divide 80 by 48. Now what happens in the next iteration that the larger number becomes 48 and the smaller number becomes 32. Okay. So M represents the larger number and N represents the smaller number. We divide 48 by 32 and the remainder comes out as 60. In the next iteration, 
32 becomes the larger number and 16 the remainder from the previous iteration becomes the smaller number we divide 32 by 16 and we get 0 as the remainder so what happens 16 this time becomes the larger number and the remainder 0 becomes the smaller number so when n is 0 then m becomes our HCF in other words when the remainder comes out as 0 then the current iteration smaller number becomes the HCF so now we define a function and we call it f euclidean this function is also going to accept two arguments let's call them m and n we'll have to make sure that m contains the larger number and n contains the smaller number we'll implement the euclidean algorithm using the recursion technique as we saw the crux of the matter is to divide m by n to find the remainder so we'll straight away write the expression first which will be m modulo operator n like we saw in the next iteration the remainder calculated using this expression will become the smaller number and the greater number will be the one stored in variable n in the current iteration since this cycle needs to be repeated hence we are going to make the function call again we'll thus write f euclidean we are making the function call again this is the recursion technique and as its first parameter we'll pass n because the smaller number of the current iteration becomes the greater number of the next iteration next function call then as its second parameter we are going to pass this expression m modulo operator n because the remainder will now be the smaller number that means the second parameter that's it now we saw that when n becomes 0 then m is the hcf so we will write an if else we are going to write if n is equal to 0 then we are going to return m okay and we are going to take this expression in the else part all right okay and this piece of code will be preceded by a return statement we put this entire expression in the else part because if the second parameter or the remainder from the previous call is not zero then we need to repeat the process right that's why this entire line of code goes in the else part okay so our function is complete now we are going to call this function from main but before the function call we have to make sure that the first parameter that means m over here is always greater than the second parameter which is n so we will have to write an if else within the main function so first we are going to declare a variable vres and initialize it to zero we will write if v num1 is greater than v num2 then we will write vres after the equals to sign we are going to make the function call so it will be f euclidean since v num 1 is greater than v num 2 hence v num 1 will be passed as the first parameter and v num 2 will be passed as the second parameter else it's going to be vice versa so i'm going to copy this line of code paste it over here and v num 1 will be passed as the second parameter and v num 2 will be passed as the first parameter this happens when v num1 is less than v num2 this variable v underscore res is going to contain the hc of the two numbers that we are passing as parameters to this function so let's uh, do an arrangement to print the value of v res so i'm going to copy this line of code to save some time paste it over here make a slight change over here in the message i'll write using recursion all right and within format this time we are not going to make the function call because we have already done it rather we are going to pass the variable vres as the third parameter to the format function okay so the program is complete let's run it and check the output all right it's asking me to enter the first number let me enter 80 only 
let me enter 48 and there you go the program prints gcd of 80 and 48 using recursion is 16 that means the method that we just now coded is also giving the correct answer because our hcf is the same as the one calculated by the python built-in function gcd we can implement the euclidean algorithm without recursion as well for that let's write a function and we are going to call it f euclidean 2 this function is also going to accept two parameters m and n okay now we are going to write a while loop that is going to run till this n becomes zero so it will be while n not equals to zero okay now we are going to make use of the same tuple and packing method that is used to swap two numbers so it will be m comma n equals to sign n comma m modulo operator n what's happening here is the remainder is getting assigned to n so the remainder becomes the smaller number and n is getting assigned to m which becomes the greater number in the next iteration of the while loop n will be checked again for zero if it is not zero then the process repeats when n becomes zero then we are going to return m the same thing we did over here only the way is different so as the final line of uh, this particular function we are going to return m technically the function is going to return m let's call this function from the main method and check the output what i'm going to do over here i'm going to change the function name from f underscore euclidean to f underscore euclidean 2 okay because we already have uh, the setup in place and over here in the message i am going to remove using recursion instead i am going to write euclidean algo and let's take it within brackets all right let's run the program and check the output okay so let me enter 80 this time and i'm going to enter 48 and there you go the program prints gcd of 80 and 48 using euclidean algo is 60. this method that we just coded is also working fine let's test another use case this time i'm going to enter 60 and the second number will be 48. now the gcd of 60 and 48 is 12. let's see if the program prints 12 as the output there you go the program prints 12 as the output with this we have come to the end of this video you learned not just one but three methods to calculate the hcf of two numbers do subscribe to joystick if you want to grow in python i'll see you in the next video of joystick goodbye and take very good care of yourself